it's not necessary to have a big, expensive, fancy greenhouse in order to successfully carry out grafting. However, it's very important to have multiple microclimates that you can move the plants through during the process. Now our greenhouse is actually designed into three basic chambers. Our main chamber, or our grow chamber, is where the plants spend most of their lives. This is going to have high light conditions. We keep it about 78 degrees during the day and then about 68 degrees at night inside of there just to have good growth on the plants. It is very important to have a high quality transplant going into the grafting procedure and may not hold up to the physical process of grafting as well as ones that are compact and very robust. So it's important that this area get high light and be under good growing conditions and not get too warm at night. The next chamber is our area where our healing chambers go. Now, you don't necessarily have to put your healing chambers in a greenhouse, but for our system, it seems to work the best. In the healing chamber area, we want to make sure we can get it very cool during the day, especially when we get full sun. So it's important that this chamber have a cooling pad or some other type of mechanism for preventing it from getting it too hot. We typically keep this chamber about a little bit cooler about 74 to 75 degrees during the day and this is in order to prevent the healing chambers from getting too warm during the day. It's also not a bad idea to have them a little bit warmer at night and be sure that the plants in the healing chamber are not getting any cooler than 68 to 70 degrees in order to help promote the fusion of that graft union. The last chamber that we have is what we call our cool chamber. And in this particular chamber, we allow it to get warm during the day, about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, but we keep it much cooler at night. And we'll allow this chamber to get down to about 45 to 50 degrees, depending on the conditions and the time of year. Now what we utilize this chamber for uh, is slowing the plants down. One of the biggest challenges with growing grafted plants is you have to have uniformly sized rootstock and scions on the day that you actually graft. The difficulty with this is many of our rootstocks grow at much different rates than our scion varieties and vice versa. Oftentimes the rootstocks will grow very fast or the scions will grow faster. So we utilize that cool chamber in order to slow down plants when they're starting to get away from us. It's not uncommon for us to grow faster growing cultivars like our rootstocks in our grow chamber for a week and a half and then move it into the cool chamber for about four or five days while the scion catch up with the rootstock. The other thing that we use this chamber for is hardening the plants off after they've gone through the complete process.